Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day Gamers, and welcome. So today, we're taking a look at yesterday's update. Now, I was really intrigued by what this update had to offer, so I've left it a little bit more time to actually look through the features myself and try to get to grips with some of the new oxygen features. But one of the new blocks that was added was this sphere, this sort of ball. This space ball, I believe it's called. Space ball, there we go. It's uh, very simple. It, all, it almost acts like a gravity cube. But the difference is that this has friction and other abilities that we can use. So I've not found too many uses for it at the moment, except using it as a sort of football that you can kick it. It seems to have a little bit of a bouncy sort of property. You can see as we kick this around and we'll throw one into the goal for us as well. Let's try doing a bit of basketball. Do a jump into that. Oh, there we go. Nothing to do. We have to do a bit of a run up, I think. So you can see as we're trying to do that, you've got this effect. You've got these very sort of bouncy but at the same time, quite interesting little spheres and balls. Maybe you could use them as some sort of grape shot or shotgun in a sort of cartridge, but I'll show you later on what happens when we do decide to throw them at an object. Now, first off, let's actually have a look at the settings. So by going into here, we have a virtual mass that affects how much the weight of this actual block weighs. So we can go all the way up to five tons and all the way down to zero. So that's really cool. Now we've got the friction of this block. So when it's rolling along the floor, will it start to grip and actually roll? If you have this all the way to zero, you get a block that just skids across the floor and doesn't actually grip on and roll. And then you've got the requisition. So this is this is, doesn't make too much difference to the ball. But at the same time, you can use this to control some of the outcomes that you're going to get by either setting it to zero or setting it to maximum when it comes to rolling and controlling the ball itself. You've also got an enabled broadcast. You can do some really cool things with this. You can make it look like a little bit of a droid. You just have to work a way of actually powering the actual cameras and systems. So as we put that little camera on there, you can see we're getting some very interesting looking shapes. And you can fit one of these to all sides. So you can make a very small little portable camera maybe use it control it by gravity and also do it on the big one and make yourself some sort of i robot sort of style thing now these blocks i have weighed so we've got the five tons in this one and we've got a very light block and i'm going to throw them at these targets to see if they do any damage at all it's going to be quite useful to see so we've actually dropped that down there and we're going to accelerate up to an equal speed on each block as Aaron falls off the platform so we're going to try to get up to 30 meters a second or just below that and that tends to be the distance but you can just see the bounce off i can even throw one quite violently probably double the actual speed you can see as we start to whip these across here there's no damage at all they're just bouncing off they don't seem to have any sort of armor penetrating value i mean at the higher speeds maybe we could get some damage so that's what we'll do this is the heaviest possible ball we've got and we'll try to get up to maximum speed or a very high speed to see if we can do any damage to that heavy armor target at all because otherwise it'll be completely useless using it as some sort of shotgun so we're going past 40 50 and drop that and it looks like the ball's gone through that time yeah the ball actually went through the target and dropped down there but it looked like it was damaged because it's disabled the thing very interesting indeed we'll have to see what we can do with this with weapons now the next thing i want to show you is to do with the oxygen feature that was a large part of this update and it took a lot of time to actually try to work out all the features of this now the first thing i want to show you is if we look down on the left hand side of the screen we've got the hood we have a new setting it says oxygen and you can see it's depleting a little bit slower than the energy in my suit at the moment in time. Now, the oxygen in the suit is actually a separate entity now than the power. So you're not just relying on power. You've also got to rely on recharging your oxygen, adding an extra level to survival. And the oxygen tanks that you're going to be refilling look just like this one here. And I'll show you what they look like in the hood as well. So if we go into here and we have a little oxygen bottle that is a part of the player's tool selection. And that will slowly be used up bit by bit over time so that's really interesting indeed so let's actually try dumping this oxygen bottle on the floor and have a look exactly what happens so we've got just enough oxygen in the actual suit but what happens is if you have one of these aboard your suit it will recharge your oxygen from that bottle so you won't run out and it's a, it's a bit of extra weight to carry around but at the same time it means that you could go out further journeys and so on now let's actually have a look at their effects on refilling them so refilling these oxygen tanks is rather easy as well. So if we just pick this one up, for instance, and we head over to the oxygen generator or one of the actual larger tanks, we can actually drop them in here. So we've got a zero bottle here. We'll drop that in and it'll automatically start to refill it. So it's refilled automatically, like really fast. And you've got the auto refill button here and you've also got the refill bottles button. So you can choose if you want it to automatically refill any bottle that's placed within the oxygen generator or you can just refill the bottles that you're placing in at that individual time. So a little bit more 
speciality, especially if you've got a large room to charge with oxygen and you can't be losing any oxygen within the suit. Now, the next thing I want to show you are the small ships have been adapted so oxygen can be used in the cockpits. Now, in our survival episodes, I got in a cockpit opening that it would have oxygen within it and it didn't, but now they actually do. So if we go into the menu and we actually select number three, that is the oxygen generator. This is an oxygen generator for small ships. So you can actually see it clips directly into these positions. So we can rotate that one around. This cockpit has a different sort of connection point. So if I just spin that back around, that should connect up to there fine. And you can see it's just quite an interesting idea to actually get oxygen within that area. But we're going to need some other parts as well. So we'll get the air vent that I don't think we'll need. And we've got the oxygen tank. So the air vent is not going to be used because I don't think we can actually have an interior of one of these ships. So what I was really hoping for was that you could have a small ship with a large ship sort of interior. But no, that's not how it works. It only provides oxygen for the actual cockpit. So we're going to get the oxygen tank out. We'll actually see if we can fit one of these in here. So this is going to make ships really bulky if you want to have oxygen within the cockpit. So it means if you want a small ship that can travel far or vast areas and still resupply the character with oxygen, you're going to have to make it a little bit bulkier, a little bit bigger, and extend them sizes of them larger ships. So let's actually stick a module onto the side to get that powered up. So there we go. We can actually see that they should be functioning. That should be generating oxygen once um, some ice has actually been provided to it. So maybe we need to connect up a few more power generators to get this operational there we go so it's quite a little bit more power than i thought it's gone green and that's going to start filling the tank up with oxygen and providing oxygen to the actual cockpit itself so you can see we've got 100 percent on the oxygen now in the cockpit absolutely perfect it's just a really interesting idea and i'm really glad that they go in this detail and this in far with such a simple oxygen feature because previously the atmospheric sort of idea where you open doors and things and oxygen comes out was was good but now this is just the next better level. Now, the final things I want to talk about is how you can die with this new system. Now, the first one is you run out of oxygen and leave your helmet on. If you leave your helmet on and you're in an oxygen environment, it will not take the oxygen from the environment around you. You will be sealed within that little helmet and you will die because of that. Now, from what I can tell, there's no easy way of actually popping off your suit's helmet at the moment. You still got to go to the med bay and swap this over but once that's actually been fixed maybe there'll be a quick button you can pop your helmet off and that'll be really cool now the other way of course is if i'm in an environment let's seal this door up for instance that is a pressurized environment and i have my helmet off even if the oxygen drops down to zero i will still be okay the reason for that is because the pressure is high enough and it's not going to actually kill me or boil my blood in whatever many cases that you see so it's a really exciting update and i thank you guys for watching and I can't wait to see what they're going to do with these new oxygen systems.